Hello guys, welcome to the high production. In this video, we are going to create this amazing animation of 3D product exploit. And uh, it was requested by one of my subscriber to create this kind of an animation tutorial. So this is for you, buddy. First of all, let me show you this is my object and uh, this is the actual tire object I have modeled and uh, you can find out uh, so many tutorials of tire modeling on my channels from my previous videos so I'm not gonna model this once again I'm going to try this animation so I'm gonna select this camera and I'll select the camera from this part here it is my timeline which is approximately 200 frames so I'm gonna turn on the auto key We'll take out the rotation, put the key, and on the 60th frame, I'm going to rotate on 360 degree, like this. And uh, now, we'll go to the last frame, and we'll move this. So let's see what we have created. This, yes. And if I will play this, so let's see. Uh, Well, I think first rotation is too much fast. So I'm gonna make it 100, keyframe 100, like this. It means it will take one rotation on 100 frames and another 100s are little rotation like this. That's, that's perfect. So furthermore, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the 100 frame, select the camera, turn on the auto key, and on the 200 frames, I'm gonna squeeze out the camera like uh, now. I think, no, 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 we should select camera, this, zoom out. So let's see, this is the zoom camera, this 100 frame, and from 100 to 200, it will zoom out. Perfect. Let me show you from the 100 till 200 it is zooming out. But now I will select the elements. So I'm gonna ungroup or open the group like this. And at first I'll take the local uh, and we'll select the screws. Yes, this bolt Perfect. I'm going to apply the key here and after that I will go to the 160 or 150 frame. We'll turn out the outside like this. So let me show you how it looks like. Like this. That's perfect. Uh, now I'm going to go to the 130th frame. I will select the rim. Select the rim on the key and I will go to the 160th frame and we'll take out rim outside of it. Perfect. Little bit inside like this. So let me show you how it looks like. Yes. If I will play this. So we have this rotation it will like this furthermore we have so many objects behind of it so we will create as well okay on the 160th frame I will turn on my auto key a little bit backward like this I mean I wanted to play with late so that's okay so furthermore i need to make it more animated from the 140th frame i'll go to the perspective i will find this rod will apply the key and will go out the 175th frame 
and we'll take out outside like this perfect that's perfect furthermore we need to we need to set my another object this are the bolts apply the key here go to the 190th frame and we'll take out like this so yes we are getting our output that our object are getting explored they are exploding to each other I think 200 frames are too much we need to adjust I'm gonna select this key select this object I'm gonna select their keys and we'll come earlier from 120th frame to 155 frame the same thing I'm gonna apply with this new bolts I will select the both of keys and we'll make it earlier so that that's good okay furthermore I'm gonna select these plates these rim plates select the keys and also go to the 180 frame it will come out like this same thing I'm gonna do with my another another plate from here select this one apply the key from this plus point and go to the 190th frame and we'll take out like this furthermore I have select the I have select this uh, red part oh, I'm sorry I'm gonna select the tire and will apply like this so the tire is also moving and from 165th frame I'm gonna select this red part apply the key here and go into the 190 frame and just we'll take it out like this uh, like this So guys let me show you how it will look like from the camera I'm gonna select this rotation more so I'm gonna close this group and we'll check out my animation how it will look like just play this well that's perfect So when you take out the render, I'm going to take the render and this is going to be my render. The entire rendering frames are will take some time and this entire 200 frame sequence have taken 37 minutes to render okay so I think we have this amazing render so I'm gonna go to the Adobe After Effects and I will go to the uh, double click on my project file and you can find out uh, the entire renders uh, let me show you I'm going to output these are the entire renders sequence of 200 frames I'm going to import the sequence import into it here so let me show you how it looks like so I'm going to go to the composition setting first and I will increase the timeline duration at approximate 10 seconds that's good now let me show what we have done well that's cool now we will have to treat uh, from this part of I need to break this layer so I'm gonna go to the edit and okay no I'm sorry I'm gonna go to the edit find out the split layer and I have split this layer I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to go to the time and we'll go to the time stretch and it will be one second time.
Perfect. Furthermore, I'm going to apply the motion blur effect as well. A little motion blur, not too much. Now it will turn. I'm going to put the layers here. Perfect. On the end of the side, which is the last frame, uh, let me show you how it looks like. Perfect. So end of the frame, the last frame, I'm going to select this frame, go to the split layer, so right click on it, make this freeze frame, and give the time stretching approx uh, uh, 20th frame. That means it will hold 20th frame. And after that, after the end of the animation, I'm going to select my same layer, this layer. We'll go to the edit, make it duplicate. But after this freeze layer, right click on it and go to the time, make it time reverse layer. It means it will open. Now it will stay and then it will reverse like this. So I'm going to select this layer as well. Go to the duplicate, put this layer after this one, right click on it, make a reverse time reverse layer. So let me show you what we have created. We'll import one of more thing, which is my uh, background. Here is my background. I'm gonna put this background here, scale down their size, go to the curve, apply the curve. Uh, not to the layer tire, I'm gonna apply this one on the background. Look at this, that's pretty good. So here's my play, and that's good. So guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like this, so subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon. Thank you so much.